So this week's top 10 trending skincare poll is on cleansing oils as voted by you in a public vote on my Instagram page at Sand by the Counter. Every week at least a few hundred people participate so it's a fairly fun, engaging, quite widely reaching poll with brands from all around the world so I'm always excited to share the results. Uh, the top 10 I'll go through from 10 to 1 with some brief commentary. I've only tried five of these, so I don't expect this to be a long video. But if you've tried anything, I'm very keen to hear your feedback and let me know how you feel about the top 10 overall. Number 10 on the list is the Medicaid Lipid Balancing Cleansing Oil. This one I haven't tried, but Medicaid is of course a very well-known brand and I, I'm not surprised that they're on the list. Seems to be most popular with my UK and EU followers, but let me know if you love it. Number nine on the list is the Emma Lewisham, Emma Lewisham Illuminating Oil Cleanser. Correct my pronunciation if you know how it's supposed to be. This one is another cleanser on the list that I haven't used. The brand overall is just very plant extract, botanical leaning, but they kind of do it in a way where they want to hide away from any scientific ingredients or just classic ingredients. So I don't really appreciate that messaging. I don't get it very much, not a brand that I would align with. But if it's your thing, I'm sure it feels luxurious and smells nice and whatever. Number eight on the list is the Beauty of Joseon Ginseng Cleansing Oil. This is another one that I haven't used, so not going that well with the list so far. But also another brand that I'm not a big fan of. They just seem to be big fans of label claims. So that's where you maybe get a plant extract or something, put it on the front of the packaging to make the brand seem more botanically driven or just more elaborate. But things like heritage Korean ingredients, they actually matter. And those ingredients require a lot of substantiation to be able to make certain claims. Allegedly, Beauty of Joseon was embroiled in a little scandal with the Korean version of the FDA where they were making, I think it was anti-aging claims, but using quite cheap or inferior quality of those Korean ingredients. So they weren't actually allowed to make those claims. So that gives me a little bit of an ick, you know, if you want to be an affordable, wide reaching brand, be that. I guess I see Beauty of Joseon in a similar light to the way I see The Ordinary, but the difference is The Ordinary is quite proud of their simple formulations, proud of their affordable pricing. They're not trying to be neod, you know, those are two distinct brands. Whereas I feel like Beauty of Joseon is trying to fool everybody into thinking they're like Sulwasu when they're not, they're just not. So they're a cheap, affordable, wide reaching brand. That's awesome. But just be who you are. You don't need to flex more than that. Funnily enough, number seven on the list is the Sulwasu Gentle Cleansing Oil. This is the brand that does ginseng right. They handle all their ingredients right. An abundance of research and technology goes into their products. I'm not sure that matters as much in the cleanser, but it's just about the kind of effort they put into everything. So the research and development is awesome. If it's not a stretch, if it's not out of budget, I would definitely recommend this over anything from Beauty of Joseon. This cleanser in particular has a little bit more of a rich, indulgent feel. It's not really a watery oil. There, there is a bit of like texture and substance there. Um, it emulsifies really well and has the classic Sulwasu ginseng scent, which I happen to love. L I enjoy this one a lot. Definitely one of the better ones on the list. Number six on the list is the Tatcha Camellia Cleansing Oil. This is a personal favorite of mine. I've used several bottles of it. It is on the pricey side, so probably considered more of a splurge product, but they've done a really good job with it. It is more of a midway oil, smells really nice, has that kind of classic Tatcha floral sweet scent. Um, and just rinses really well, makes my skin feel nice, not dry at all. Very effective product. I'm a big fan. Number five on the list is the Crave Makeup Rewind. And this is a huge personal favorite. I would even say Holy Grail. They've done such a good job coming up with something unique and interesting that doesn't feel like a lot of other products out there. Starts, his li starts its life as like a runny gel format and then feels quite indulgent and oily, of course, on the skin then emulsifies and rinses pretty well. I wouldn't say it like rinses 100% cleanly. There is a little bit of a conditioning residue that's left behind, but just a touch, just a kiss to prevent the cleanser from feeling too drying. I also love the Crave ingredient story and that they're using some upcycled ingredients. The fragrance is awesome. I love the scent. It reminds me of fresh grapevines um, without being too cloying or clingy. They've nailed it. Like I have no notes. I love this product, huge favorite of mine. Number four on the list is the Bioderma Sensi Bio Micellar Cleansing Oil, long name. This is probably one of the best products in drugstore overall. I think they've done an 
awesome job formulating this. The actual texture is on the thicker side, so it's definitely not a watery oil. It almost feels jelly to me, although I don't think there's a gel component to it feels very rich and indulgent. Um, it takes a bit of extra time to emulsify and rinse, but because it's part of the Sensi Bio collection, it makes sense because that's sort of all about protecting sensitive skin and that sort of stuff. Um, there's no scent that I can detect from it. It just works really effectively. The price point is great. If you happen to find it on sale, definitely don't hesitate. This is a great, great product. Number three on the list is the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. This has a bit of controversy around it. I've, I've never used it before, but essentially the CEO was allegedly embroiled in a bit of a scandal where he used some derogatory terms against Korean people. From what I understand, the brand had to actually exit Korea because it was quite insulting. I haven't looked into the detail too much, but I guess I encourage you to have a look into it maybe before purchasing this brand. It was maybe a few years ago. I don't know if the CEO is still around, but probably is still a relevant conversation. So I don't have many thoughts on this. I've just never wanted to engage with this brand or even buy their products simply because that's not acceptable. Number two on the list is the go-to fancy face nourishing oil cleanser. This is very much like a cult favorite product and I think kind of awakened this oil cleansing movement or momentum in the Australian market. When this came out in Mecca stores, it made a splash. Like I just feel like everybody was using GoTo at that time. So it's a bit of a triumph just for a product to be able to do that. And I have a lot of fond memories about that. Um, the cleanser itself is a little bit on the thicker side. So I would recommend it more for people that do prefer thicker oil textures. Um, from memory, and I think it still ships with a cleansing cloth. So it sort of lends itself to that um, towel flannel you know, removal that probably Caroline Hirons popularized a lot. Although I'm able to use it as a first cleanse and then move on to a second cleanse without finding it too clingy or frustrating. So I think it does work well even without manual assistance when rinsing. The fragrance is quite pleasant. It's just like a rose leaning floral scent that's a little bit on the sweet side, but not too rose-like if that makes sense. So quite a universal option, especially if you do prefer like a more indulgent, rich oil texture. Number one is the Co Softy Mo Speedy Cleansing Oil, or Cose, if I'm even saying that right. I'm so sorry again, correct my pronunciation below. This is another one that I haven't used, which is a bit tragic considering it's the number one on the list and the most popular. From what I understand, it's a fair, fairly oily, watery, runny oil, just very quick, affordable, effective, you know, get your cleanse done, ASAP kind of vibe. Um, which is great, you know, I haven't used it though, so I have, I have no thoughts, I have no way to confirm or deny, um, but I would love to hear if you've used it and whether you think it's worth its number one placement. That's the end of this week's poll. Thank you for participating if you did and for commenting down below if you had any feedback to share. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Sand by the Counter, especially if you want to participate in the votes. I'll see you next time.